Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you so much. This is Idika Imeri. I, have, I also have a team member. Mary's with me this morning and we are bringing you the good morning prayer. Wherever you are in the world, whenever it reaches you, your morning begins at that time. <laughs> Mary, thank you so much for waking up early this morning to join me. Welcome. I have my tea ready to go, ready to go. Let's go straight to the readings for today. You see, after, after, um, uh, Pentecost uh, I still for me the ordinary times in the Christian year green the time for growth you can the time for growth is um, is still a continuation of the work of Pentecost for me the Pentecost days are the longest is the longest season hmm. Okay, there we go. Hold on a minute, let me. Yeah, here we go. Better. There are um, there are readings today from Exodus. There are readings from Genesis. So with this, I'm going to develop so many things out of it. But this morning, I want us to focus. Maybe you are wondering where we are talking about. Go to Idika Imeri or Idika Imeri or Idika Imeri, I D I K A I M E R I dot com, and then you will see the daily readings for two uh, two thousand uh, twenty twenty. You will see it there. So the reading is for today. Um, today is the eleventh. Mary, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, June 11th, Thursday, 2020. Now, I want us to skip a lot of places. Um, um, so, because there are two readings here, I'm not going to read you all the different, different passages uh, for the reading because it's, it's like the readings for today, the two different readings. It's, it, it is like walking into a supermarket and there is so much wonderful things, tasty things that you want to buy and you can't help it. That's how the one of today is like. I want us to go straight to, um, I want us to go straight to the letters to the Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 1 to 6 and I want us just to focus somewhere here look at this this is so fascinating this is so fascinating you you won't <laughs> you will not be able to believe that this is so fascinating verse number that is Hebrews chapter 3 verse number 1 look at what it says therefore holy uh, holy brothers 
and sisters who are who share excuse me therefore holy brothers and sisters who share in the heavenly calling fix your thoughts on Jesus for me immediately I seized it the Holy Ghost seized it in me fix your thoughts fix your thoughts he speaks about um, uh, Jesus greater than Moses worthy of greater honor I'm going to I'm going to talk about that sometime to come but I just want you to look at the word fix your thoughts and this one it tells us the center of our thoughts it did not say the center of our ignorance or the center of our indecisions the centers of delay the centers of confusion say so you should know where what is, what is the engine what is the one thing that make every other thing moves that make life to function properly that that makes that is the power that makes money to flow in that 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 makes you to move back to observe and then move forward what what is it that makes you not to have your thoughts in many places for some people they think receiving jesus as their new god as their boss as the god of the ages the ancient of days the the one who through whom they are remade it is in him that we are renewed recalled that is we are released back to ourselves we are ourselves we we, we are no longer pushed about by different religions and cultures and politics and you you this guy has the lifestyle he has it this is it is his lifestyle that we follow not human beings trying to bring their own lifestyle to try to paste it to photocopy it on jesus or superimpose it on jesus but this one is you straightforwardly take it from him you you follow him you follow i call jesus he told me his name he said his name is the fisherman his name is the light you follow him then fisherman means the one who makes you to prosper you prosper that's the that's the biggest meaning of him the one that makes you wealthy the light the one that makes you to develop become civilized you know you are no longer an angry person you are no longer a confused person fix your thought then he begin to help you to fix your thoughts if you fix it on him he begin to help you to fix your thoughts on the things that you need to fix your thoughts for example health throughout throughout last evening and during the middle of the night i was still here walking and i was also working on my health i was working on my health you know I, I i mean i fix my thoughts to make sure that i do not die young i do not grow fat i i the things that i shouldn't do i let them go the kind of food that i should eat in small portions and is nourishing that's it fix your thoughts fix your thoughts on making money and accumulating wealth fix your thoughts fix your thoughts on beauty i look i look like a hundred times younger i'm far more beautiful than when i was born yeah fix your thoughts on things that will make you happy on things that will make you perform at the peak fix your thoughts fix your thoughts
this morning I ask God to make your thoughts to come together not pieces of thoughts but one whole piece of mind you must fix your thoughts so that you can have peace of thoughts Mary I hope you're writing it down you must fix your thoughts so that you can fix you know you can fix your peace you can fix your money you can fix where you are going in life you can fix your happiness everything comes from your mind and imagination fix it so that you can fix your fear you can fix your confusion there's so many your thoughts is into different negative places let's fix it now almighty father fix this person's business fix this person's life every area of it must be fixed i ask that your power will come upon such a one holy spirit you do it you go and fix their thoughts today so that they can become profitable people to you to me and to themselves in the name of god the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen amen and amen, amen.